Hi guys, welcome back to Antimatter Dimensions. So this is part 20, and I'm going to do this thing again where I just do that, and then this way I can um do runs a bit faster, but I have to show you something. So this last infinity took us 5 minutes and 7 seconds. I don't really remember if I showed you last time, I think I... I now that I think about it, I probably did. But, um... We're going pretty fast because we got that row of achievements. So, um... And... Here's the thing, I like to start challenges once I've got all of these upgrades because... Uh... I just think at the moment we're... A tad too early. So, I think... I kind of want to get these, and I'm going to have to do a few infinities. At least these ones, because... Um, I mean, this one doesn't help so much with completing challenges, it just helps with infinity points. Um, so, I think that um, you pretty much know the process of an infinity, so I'm actually going to see you once I've done a couple of infinities, and we will, um, and we will basically, um, just, just like, I don't know, we'll just, like, do something, I guess. So, I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have five infinity points, and my infinity time is down to three minutes at here. And because I have five infinity points, I'm going to get this. And unfortunately, this is going to reset back to one. Um, but, as I do more runs, this is going to pick up, and... We're, our infinity time is going to be even faster. And then I'm going to get that, which will make dimension boosts more powerful. And so all of these things will help. And so, again, this is really boring, so I will see you um, when we can buy the next upgrade. Okay, guys, so um, we can almost afford this upgrade, and I just wanted to show you that our infinity time is down to two minutes and I just kind of wanted to do this run with you guys so you can see how fast it is. So it is pretty fast. Um although each infinity um still takes a little bit. It's it's really fast, especially compared to the first infinity which is just slow. Um so if you're playing a bit more actively, the first infinity should take about three, three to four days. Um, but I mean, um, the game changes a lot after that, as you've seen. And um, it's a um. It's a little bit stupid that you have to break infinity. In my opinion, the way it should work is that auto buyers don't have to be upgraded and the requirement for breaking infinity is beating all the challenges. But, you know, um, that's not how it is, so we've got to deal with it. And also, um, I just got a galaxy and once the pace picks up, it's like super fast. So I like to do the dimension boost for 26 and then wait until infinity. So look, how long have we spent? One minute and forty seconds. Um I think considering how fast it is, we we'll do one more and then we'll just go like that. And then we'll reach infinity. Yeah, that's how a run goes. And so one minute and fifty six seconds. Wow. Let's buy that. That'll make dimension boosts more powerful. So I think we're ready to start challenges now. And so, um, unfortunately, buying that upgrade has made us lose this multiplier, but we'll get it back eventually. So I think that um, I will see you guys later. Bye!